when we observe how real teams operate, it's akin to mixing dirty laundry and clean laundry. Some of their ways of working are great, others not so much. Truth is, they are never isolated. It's always good mixed with the bad. And putting it all on show, no matter how embarrassing, is how we move from basic performance to stellar performance. Good day to you all and welcome back to the Art of Teams where we dig deep into what makes high performing teams tick. If you're keen to sharpen your team's effectiveness, stay tuned. Today, we're exploring journey mapping, one of our most powerful methods we use with our clients to pinpoint exactly where their teams can improve. What is a journey map? A journey map is a visual representation of the end-to-end -end steps your team takes to deliver value or, or achieve an end result. In different scenarios, we call it different things. For example, in projects, we call it the project life cycle. You may have also heard of experience maps, service maps, etc. One thing we're always harping about in Art of Teams is how we visualize important, complex information. This is most true for operations involving lots of steps, moving parts, and people. Without a complete visual, we struggle to have meaningful discussions about what works and what doesn't. This is because we're people, not computers. When thinking about multiple activities and their dependencies, it's easy peasy to lose track and drop the ball. We forget things, we give weight to the wrong things and disregard important stuff. When I was a kid, I used to love this game called Pipe Dream. The clock would count down and you had a minute or so to lay the sections of pipe before the toxic waste started flowing. Put the wrong piece in the wrong place and toxic goo would leak everywhere. Journey map activities are the pieces of pipe. You need the right activities in the right order to keep things flowing smoothly once the work starts or the goo starts flowing. In real life, team situations, journey mapping helps you to identify bottlenecks, misaligned processes, and areas that are working well. If you don't know where you're going wrong, you can't fix it. And before you say, but I know exactly where we're messing up, hear me out. More often than not, what you think is the cause of your team's worries is a symptom, not a cause. For one of our clients, this was the case. They thought, they were terrible at kicking off new projects. No matter the scenario, the size or complexity of the project or the team, it took ages to kick off and get started. They thought they needed to overhaul their kickoff process. After mapping out the journey, it became apparent that the problem was at the proposal writing stage, at least four steps before project kickoff. Project kickoff was slow because the team could not understand the proposal and spent days decoding, guessing, and asking questions to clarify what was expected of them. Isolated incident? No. This happens all the time with our clients, and that's just for project kickoffs. Don't assume you know what the problem is. Only through visualizing the journey can you pinpoint the true root cause of issues creating the journey map. Now that I've convinced you about the importance of journey mapping, let's talk about creating one for yourself. Constructing a journey map is not rocket science. Involve your team, map out the steps in your value creation process from the very first activity to the last, the last task. Here's an example. Let's create a journey map for onboarding new team members. When onboarding a new team member, the first thing we do, this hypothetical situation, is create their onboarding folder. And the last thing we do is archive their folder. Of course, there are lots of steps in between and you will be documenting those as you create the journey map. It's just easier to start with the first and last steps. Here's a top tip. 
use a digital tool for creating your journey map so you can easily tweak steps without creating confusion or a hot mess. I like using whiteboard tools like Miro and Mural. You can also check out Figma and Lucidchart. Identifying weak spots. Once your map is complete, assess each step. Mark areas that are running smoothly in green and problem areas in red. This visual cue makes it glaringly obvious where attention is needed. Taking action. This is the last bit of the puzzle. Revise the problem areas by adding, removing and tweaking steps as necessary. Keep your team involved so everyone agrees to new iterations and thus the new improved way of getting things done, your new way of working. Fine tune your approach over time by revisiting the journey map regularly to adjust as needed. Journey mapping is a powerful tool for any team aiming to optimize their workflow. It's not about fixing symptoms, it's about diagnosing the underlying condition. Do it diligently and you'll see real improvements. That's it for today. If this has been insightful, do give us a like and subscribe for more in-depth analyses on team workflows and performance. Thank you for watching. We'll see you in the next one.